What is going on everyone and welcome back to another episode in the series where we take a look at the best players in all positions for all budgets. So we're going to be taking a look at DMFs today, starting with Xhaka, the destroyer from Basel. So again, this guy is an absolute beast. He's not Xhaka from Arsenal in case you're getting worried. You just have to have a look at his stats to see that he is a very, very good bargain option. 4,900 GP. He's small. He's 172 centimeters, but small things come in good packages or good things come in small packages. Yeah, that's the one. And this week he's got B rating as well with the live update. And look at the player skills, man. He's got double touch. As a DMF with double touch, he can play left or right back. So he's a really good utility player as well. Kind of reminds me of Paddy McCourt from back in the day on Pez MLO 2015. Can play multiple positions. Next up, we have got Lamina. This guy looks very serious, but he looks like he's going to do damage on the pitch. DMF, really good player. I think he plays for Nice, if I'm not mistaken. And my logo... Uh, is right there. Yeah, I can see it. It's nice. 14,000 GP. Very good budget option as well. Some of the guys on this team. I mean, you're going to want to make two choices, right? Lamina is a perfect example of whether you want to have like a very, very versatile, you know, competitive, combative center or DMF where you're going to be chasing the ball around, you know, like a cheaper version of Kante or somebody like that. And this guy fits the bill for that, if he's going to be getting a lot of blocks and stuff. Or else you want somebody like Nico Gonzalez for 18,000. So 4,000 more than Lamina, but he still fits into that price range of 10,000 to 50,000 right there. And he's a very cheap option in that price filter. This guy is an absolute beast as well. He's very like a very cheap Busquets from Barcelona. He's got double touch as well. Very comfortable on the ball, as you can see there for a DMF. Um, he's not the fastest, but this is what I'm talking about. You need to make a decision. Do you want a really like deep kind of passing orchestrator type of DMF that can like pass and spray the ball around like Pirlo? Or do you want somebody like um, Kante that runs around all the place and just gets a load of interceptions? Barrios, this guy needs no introduction from my club days. Last year, his featured edition in PES 2020 was probably the best card in the game, apart from Patrick Vieira. Now, if you do have Vieira and you packed him as your legend, this video doesn't really apply to you because all of these players don't compete with Vieira. But there is a couple, you know, that can, when they're trained up, be really, really good as budget options if you don't have Patrick Vieira to kind of simulate how Vieira plays on the pitch. I think Barrios fitting in here at 50,000, 51,000 GP, his stats don't say it all. He is an absolute beast of a player and you will not go wrong with him. Can play any position in midfield and right back. So now we're getting into, again, a very difficult decision because, as I said, you know, Lamina and Barrios are kind of cheaper Kante alternatives, whereas Nico Fernandez and this guy Tonali are kind of like Pirlo or kind of like sitting the hole Busquets players that just distribute the ball and kind of anchor that defensive midfield position. So if you are going to be looking for a passer or you want your centre midfield to be that passer, you could equally switch it around and have a centre midfielder that's really, really, really kind of like versatile and gets around the pitch. But Tonali, the AC Milan man, he's only 21 years of age, 68,000 GP, has been highly recommended to me by a lot of streamers and a lot of content creators. So I'll give him a go. Now we've got Fabinho, the Liverpool man. So there's only one DMF that is, you know, worth, I think, this type of money. And that is probably Fabinho. If you look at his stats, he's got 77 awareness for defense. He's got 78 tackling. He's got everything that you could possibly want in the player skills. He's also really good at stunning shots. I was playing with him in training mode, banging him in from like 30 yards out. He's also got man marking, fighting spirit, one touch pass, low lofted pass. So he's kind of a bit of an all-rounder. You know, he's not as defensively minded as the last guy on our list, which you've probably guessed by now is the ultimate uh, DMF. But he is, as an anchorman, he is unmatched, I think, for everything all-rounders. Now, this is the man I would try and get if you do have the GP to burn and you are after winning the GP lottery. He's 450,000. Is he worth getting over somebody like a top-class striker? Probably not. You know, probably not. You could get Neymar for a similar price and he'll be more of an addition. But if you want to get the best DMF in the game that's not Vieira, this is the guy to get. Look at his stats. He plays even way more above his stats there. You know, he can play any position really um, that you want in midfield. DMF, CMF. You could pair him with any of the guys on this list as well as a two-man DMF as well. But yeah, that is it for the DMFs, lads. Uh, I will be back again with, I think, CMFs is next. There's some really good choices in that. 
Huge thanks to everyone for getting involved and giving me your suggestions. Keep them coming, lads. And that is it for me for a very short video. Peace.